All right, welcome back everybody to another My Golf Spy video. And today, it's a good one. We're reviewing the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus to find out if it is the best driver of 2023. And also, if you own the previous model, TaylorMade Stealth, if it's better than that one too. Let's get it. All right, just like the name suggests, Stealth 2 Plus, this is TaylorMade's second attempt at trying to get carbon wood in my bag and yours. But one of the most common questions we get at my golf spy is, is newer really better? Is 2023 better than 2022? Meaning, is the Stealth 2 Plus any better than the Stealth Plus? We're gonna find that out today because it's got its work cut out for it. In 2022, the Stealth Plus was fifth overall and first in distance for best drivers of 2022, making it the distance king of 2022. All right, so last year's driver, really great for distance, but it did not perform well at all for forgiveness. It actually ranked near the bottom of the barrel. So TaylorMade definitely took note of this. And not only did they take note of this from data like ours, but they talked to pros and also this time golfers like you and me about how to improve that. So for 2023, we're getting a TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus with what they're calling Forgiveness. That sounds like a lot of marketing jargon to me, but we are gonna find out later in this video whether or not Forgiveness is for real or not, and if they actually help golfers out like you or me on the actual golf course. But for the pros, Scotty Scheffler, former number one, won the players with the Stealth 2 Plus, and while Rory switched away for a short period of time, he's gone back to the Stealth 2 Plus as well. Similar to last year, we have the red 60X Carbon Twist Face. However, on the Stealth 2 Plus, you're gonna get some new face features that you didn't get last year. They're gonna help you with ball speed and off-center strikes, and also hopefully help you with forgiveness or forgiveness. TaylorMade has dubbed this the inverted cone technology. So what does that actually mean? Basically, it means that TaylorMade is trying to help you. When we miss hit the sweet spot, we lose distance and we lose accuracy. So drivers nowadays, included in the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus, are trying to widen that zone. So no matter where you hit it on the face, they want you to hit it the same distance and same accuracy. We're not there yet, but it is way better than the drivers we tested in Retro Golf. So in addition to the updated tech on the face, we're also hearing there might be a slight color change in the red on the face. I mean, you gotta sell clubs, right? We apparently have 75% more carbon. That's a lot of carbon. And also a composite ring that goes around the perimeter that you can see here. Let's cover just a couple more claims that Taylor Rand is making for the Stealth 2 Plus driver. Number one, acoustics. One of the biggest challenges for this carbon face driver in that 20 years of development was how was it gonna sound? They came out with something called bright and powerful sound. Their words, not ours. That being said, sound on a carbon face driver is really difficult to get to sound like a metal driver. They've done a pretty damn good job. And lastly, to help optimize your launch and trajectory, for all you nerds out there, Tony Covey. You're gonna get an FCT loft sleeve and a sliding weight track with 15 grams of weight. Moving on from claims, let's talk about specs and how this year's model, the Stealth 2 Plus, compares to last year's, the Stealth Plus. For starters, the specs are the exact same. When it comes to lofts, same three options, eight, nine, 10 and a half. Lie angles, same. Head size, same at 460 cc. If you're wondering about club length, both the same as well. 45 and three quarters, which is also the same length that we tested inside my golf spy in 2022 and 2023. So it's a good apples to apples comparison. So now let's talk data and is newer really better? Can you save a hundred bucks by just going out and getting the Stealth 2 from last year? Or should you fork out the $630 for this year's 2023 TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus? Is it worth it? Let's find out. Just as a reminder, we had 35 testers with low, mid, and high swing speeds, so everybody's covered. We hit over 14,000 shots, and right now we're gonna throw up the data for everything from carry, total, ball speed, and accuracy, so get ready to either hit pause or take a screenshot, because here comes the data.
Distance is not everything. There's distance, forgiveness, and accuracy, which is exactly why this year's model, the 2023 TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus, was the number one driver for my golf spot. And while I didn't make huge strides that a lot of golfers wanna see, which is huge distance claims, they kept basically the same driver from last year, but added more forgiveness, which in our world is helping the most golfers out there. And once again, why it was the number one driver for 2023. And why we're gonna compare it for you guys to some of the best selling drivers this year to see how it performed against those as well. All right, now that you've seen how the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus performed against last year's TaylorMade, let's put it up against all the drivers in 2023 and find out why it is the best driver of 2023. Get ready to hit pause or take a screenshot. We're getting ready to put up the data right now. So let's compare the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus against two of the best selling drivers this year. The Titleist TSR3 and the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. We pulled the data for almost 15,000 shots and it is clear that the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus is definitively outperforming the Titleist TSR3. As you can see here in our brand new head-to-head -head tool. Next, we're gonna look at the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus against the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. And once again, it's outperforming that driver in almost every category. Once again, take a look at that head-to-head -head tool. If you wanna dig in even more, we created this really cool tool on our brand new website. It's a head-to-head -head tool. You can compare any driver you want in 2023 out of all the 30 drivers we tested. So if you're interested in this driver versus that, put them head to head. So now let's talk price. Well, it falls right in the middle between those three drivers we just compared. It falls in right around $630, which seems extreme, but it's actually not in 2023. TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus, $630. Callaway Triple Diamond, expect to pay around 600. And for the TSR3, anywhere from 600 to $800, depending on how you customize it. Oh. Yeah, if you wanted to also trade in your club, which is another option, you can go to PGA Tour Superstore. So let's wrap this video up and tell you once and for all why the 2023 TaylorMade Stealth Plus was the best driver for 2023. So that's really interesting how so many drivers can feel so different yet so similar. This carbon wood tech in this red face that you see here from TaylorMade is carbon, not titanium. So the first question everybody had was, what is carbon gonna feel like? Well, it feels like titanium, but it doesn't. I don't know how to explain it. It feels really good. It sounds muted, yet still sounds really solid. And when you hit one on the face of a titanium driver, toe or heel, sometimes it can feel like, you know, getting one off the wrist almost with a baseball bat. They can hurt a little bit. So round after round, shot after shot, the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus is just one of the best drivers that's made, period, in the story. And the carbon wood is real, it's legit. The TaylorMade Stealth finished number one for ball speed. It finished second for distance, and it finished third for fairways hit. And when you add it all up, that makes the number one driver for 2023 as the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus. Look, so at my golf spy, we only care about one thing, data. But we know when golfers buy clubs, they care about things like sound and feel. So we started collecting that information as well. So how did it rank? Ranked really highly. And while it didn't finish first as a Tester's Choice Awards here, finishing really highly there and also the performance numbers we see, we definitively think you should give it a try this year and find a fit for you and give it a good chance. But remember, sound and feel and looks and likelihood of purchase do not come into the equation whatsoever when it comes to how we rank drivers. It's just there to help you know what our testers thought. Who is the Stealth 2 Plus best for? It's best for high swing speed golfers looking for low spin drivers, or for that matter, any swing speed golfer trying to get the spin numbers down as well. If you wanna dive a little bit deeper, comb through our new website, buy the new Stealth 2 Plus, or try that head-to-head -head tool, click on the link in the descriptions below. And until next time, we'll see you.